Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true. Uh, yeah, you just go to it. Whatsoever things are true. Whatsoever things are honest. You've got to be true and honest and you've got to be sincere with yourself first and foremost. Because if you're not sincere with yourself, eventually that's going to show. It shows. Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, righteous and just goes into being balanced. Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good, of a good report. If there be any virtue, which goes into character, if there be any praise, think on these things. Okay? Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and see in me. So if you're thinking upon these things, you're meditating upon these things. You're meditating upon the kingdom. And the most high power of peace shall be with you. So he's with you. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at the last, at the last your care of me have flourished again. The care of what Paul, and Paul was going to the churches. Okay, travelling wherein you were also careful, but you lacked opportunity. And you don't want to be lacking an opportunity what, to teach this word. There's always an opportunity. You're at work. Every work day has, there's a break time. So you use the opportunity to minister. This is verse 11. Not that I should speak in respect of want. Okay. Not that I should speak in respect of want. Okay. In need. And the scriptures tell you, um... That main prayer, I think it's Psalm 24. I shall not want. The Lord is my pastor. I shall, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Because this is everything we need. For I have learned in whatsoever state I am. This is heavy. Whatever state. A state is a condition. We have to be content. And that's through experience. This is called experience. Whatever state. Because you have a share. The scripture says we're not. Um, be cheerful when that are brought to a lower state. So whatever state you are in, you'll learn to be what content. I know both how to be abased and I know how to be abound. Quickly type in that word abased, Baba Kashar. And when we go into that word abased, and he saws a devil because he sees humility as a bad thing. Reduce reducing rank. And the scriptures talk about. Don't worry about them high seats. Okay? Don't worry about the, them high seats. A man may say, hold on a minute. Wasn't he? He was doing good. He had a high position. You know, he tried to exhort himself. I've never tried to exhort myself in this truth. And if a man's told me to speak, I've spoken. A lot of the time, I don't like that. I've never liked the high seats. Never liked that fame. You may be saying, well, why, why are you up on camera? Because we have to be on camera. The scripture says, make that full proof of that ministry. Don't worry about the high seats. Reducing rank. So it's better when, when you don't want that rank, that's better. And it's really your house that gives you that rank. That's who the rank the point the rank is really appointed by your house. Okay. To dim, to diminish to make lower in value. Which is not really, hmm, see Esau's a devil, it's not really lower in value because something that's, bear me just a minute, not in value, something that's precious is higher in value. Something that's not out there like that is higher in value. Or in status, lower oneself. So don't worry about all that. Oh, you've got to be in a camp, everybody's got to see you. Let them have the fame. Keep, keep your 15 minutes of fame. I don't need that. When you have your have a show, you have everything. You don't need the fame of this world. Lower oneself. Literally, bent, lean down. Vulgar Latin, basia. Bring lower. So it's better. And men, yeah, you, it doesn't matter. Men are going to talk shit. So he was, he was kicked out of a camp. Well, I've got news for you. No one was kicked out of a camp. Oh, what? Or they may say, oh, he, um, he resigns. Well, if you, if you want to say that... <laughs> Okay. But as long as you're still pushing, that's the main thing. Okay. 
Because you have men that have left camps and they're, no, they're nowhere to be seen. And you have, have you, have, you have men calling themselves to be in the truth, being in camps, but they're not in the spirit. They're in the world. Um, from Latin, basis, low, short. So that's being a base to cause, see Esau's the devil, a base to cause to feel shame, hurt the pride of. And that's really, that's what Yahushua does anyway. Hu to be humiliated, that means you're being shamed. That's good. So if you're on a high seat, how are you humiliated? <laughs> if you have the love of this world, how are you humiliated? No, you're a part of this world. And that makes you an enemy of Yahushai. Humiliate. Mortify. So when you're being a base, you're mortifying what? The deeds of the flesh. Being a base. You're bringing yourself low. From trackering to humble. And that's it. Bear me just a minute. So I know how to be a base. This is Paul speaking. And I know how to abound. The truth is about abounding. Let's go into that word abound, Baba Kashar. Okay. Abound. <laughs> Bear me just a minute. Let's go into that word abound. Abound. Letting abound it to overflow, to run over. Okay. So there's going to be times where you're... You're abounding heavily. There's times where you're more heavy in the spirit and sometimes it's more or less. Okay. Overflow to run over. To run off away. That's why the scripture says in Psalm 24, you make of my waters, um, you make of my cup to run over. So this is going to be time you're, you're, you're abounding in the faith. And that means you're enduring. Abundant, plentiful, exists large quantities. This is why certain men have particular talents. To be in a state of movement or action. That's you abounding in the truth. That's you abounding. That's you fighting. I hope this is edifying. Everywhere and on all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and suffer need. There be, there be times where you don't have as much as you may want. But what does that do? That toughens you. And to abound to suffer need. And Paul, he was going, the scriptures talks about he was shipwrecked, he was... Amongst false brethren, the whole lot. He was um. What else? What else? What else? What else? in perils, in danger, in journeyings? Have you been through these things? That's that experience, and that's priceless. You can't you can't put no money on it. That's priceless, and that's why, in terms of this truth, I don't have regrets because guess what? It makes you stronger. You learn. Because you're looking at certain other men in this truth. It's like, where are they now? It's like, they're back in the world. But they <laughs> but they think they're in the truth. But they're back in the world. Because when, that, when it really counted, they were never really about the truth. When the lockdowns happened, where were men? Men went straight back into their homes. Didn't even want to come back out again. And when they, did, when they did come back out, where did they go? Right back into the forest. Verse 13, I can do all things through my shirak with strengthening me. I can do all. That's faith. Notwithstanding, you have well done and ye did communicate with my affliction. Okay, now ye Philippians, not also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving, giving and receiving, but ye only. So um, the Philippians, they were helping out Paul. They were very liberal. They were helping him. But when he departed from Macedonia, there was none that did want to help him. They were stingy. They were niggards. Okay. But ye only. So they were not helping Paul. And Paul didn't... It was not a thing where Paul was trying to take money to, to, to um for himself. He was doing it so he can feed, so he can travel. He was journeying. Okay. Because it takes... You do know it takes... some. See, men just look at this. You do know it does take money to travel. To fill up your car tank. Public transport, it takes money. So don't look at this thing, oh, it's, e it's, not e it's not as easy as men think. You know how much money it takes to travel? So there's a lot of things that go into it that you don't see. A lot of effort that you don't see. 
See, men, men's, oh, they only see the outward. They don't see the effort that's put in behind closed doors. They don't see that effort. They don't see the blood, sweat, and tears. We gonna shut off soon. Okay, so now, give me just a minute. Oh man, it's all about going through things. You don't want to be in that spirit where, oh, you know what, I've, I've, I've had enough. Well, that that's because you were, you wasn't really taking the truth seriously. Okay. Um, second as was 16 and 42, just something to think about. Hear my words, make you ready to the battle. In those evils, being even as pilgrims upon the earth. So pilgrims travel a lot. So we're seen as pilgrims upon this earth. Okay, we have no real certain dwelling place. Even if you have a home, you're still seen as a pilgrim. Because that's not certainty. You're not, you're not gonna, and you know, it's a fact, it's not certain. You're not staying there. Because what? You expect to be delivered. And that goes back to the hike socks and type in hike socks. The high socks were what? Journeying. They were always journeying in the time of Egypt. They were Israelites. Type in the hike socks. They were known as the shepherd kings. Okay? He that selleth farms in those evils being as pilgrims, he that selleth, let him be as one that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will lose. So anything you have, you're not trying to hold on to it. And he that occupieth merchandise is he that have no profit by it. And he that buildeth as be that he that dwelleth not in. That's the mindset the elect are gonna have. One more scripture I may shut off. This winner, this winner's. This went on, this lesson went on as long as I thought it would go on. Now we're going to go to Job 1 and 13. And Job is a brilliant, if you're, if you're suffering, if you're going through things, read the prophet Job. The scriptures, the, the scriptures are written for our learning. So that we may have hope. Read what happened to Job. Because every brother in this truth is the mini me of Job. Let's go to Job 1 and 13, 13. And Job, we know he's being tested by what? Satan. And get straight to it, Job 1 and 21. Bear me just a minute, bear me just a minute. Start at 14. And they came a messenger unto Job and said unto the oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside him. And the savings fell upon them and took them away, yet and have slain the servants of the edge of the sword. And I am only escaped alone to tell thee. Okay, and before that, the daughters and the daughters and the oldest brothers were drinking wine. And what? What happened? They were slain. Okay, now the building fell upon them. We're gonna go into that. And while he was yet speaking, there came also another. Okay, and said, The fire of the Mosai has fallen from heaven, and have burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. Sheep, see that's cattle, that's livestock, that's money, and only I must escape alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The Chaldeans made out of thee three bands, okay, and fell upon the camels and carried them away. Yeah, and the slain of the servants with the edge of the sword, and I'm only escaped alone to tell thee. These will be known as what bandits, because you had bandits back then as well, okay. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking and wine in the eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness, a storm, hurricane, and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. And I am only escaped alone to tell thee. So all these things were happening. One after the other. So it's the same in his truth. These things are going to happen, but a carnal man's going to be looking at it like, This guy, must he must be wicked. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that. And bad, well, but yeah, bad things can happen to you if you're wicked, but bad things also happen to you if you're if you're righteous and you're on that righteous path. So all these things happen to Job. A carnal man would read this and say, "Well, he must have been wicked." But the scripture says Job was a righteous man that eschewed evil. Okay, and I only am I, I, so like it, and only am escaped alone to tell thee. And Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head. It was a sign of mourning. And fell down upon the ground and worshipped and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. 
the Lord gave and the Lord Jehovah shall have taken away. And naked, that'd be empty. No clothes on. Naked I came and naked shall we return. That's all we're not, and that's spiritual because we're not going to, we're not taking none of these things with us. You're not taking your trainers, you're not taking your trousers, you're going to be completely changed. These bodies are going to be completely changed. And the Lord Jehovah Shai gave and the Lord Jehovah Shai have taken away. So anything that gets taken away from us is the Lord that does it. Anything that we're given was a blessing from Yahweh Shai. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jehovah Shai. That's what you call integrity. No matter what happens, you're still fighting. And all this job sin not or charge the most high foolish you because a carnal man's going to say, well, I'm serving your whole show. That ain't supposed to happen. No, you're just not in the right spirit. We're going to receive good and evil because what, what, what would this truth be if you just knew good? That would mean you'd, you would be in the kingdom already. We have to know good and evil, more so evil, so we can appreciate what good is. And we're going to mess up. We're going to go off. But guess what? As long as you're fighting, even the angels rejoice. Oh, he got up. He's fighting. Continue fighting. Okay, so with this, I'm going to shut off here. And until the next time, shalom to the hopeful elect across the globe. Shalom.